Seedprod is a drag and drop WordPress website builder that not only allows you to create basic personal websites, but also advanced online shops with no coding or developer needed. However, when creating your WooCommerce website, it's difficult to design a page that has no test or sample products. In this video, I will show you how to import test products in WooCommerce. It's a quick and easy process, and there is no need to use a CSV file like many other tutorials show you. Let's get started. So right now I just have a basic installation of WordPress and I have Seedprod installed as well. And just to remind you that with Seedprod, you can create these beautiful WooCommerce websites from scratch, or you can import some of these pre-made themes that come with Seedprod. And then we can import these test products so that you can design and tweak your pages as needed. So there's lots of different features with WooCommerce to take full control over your online shop. Let's come back to WordPress. And what we need to first do is come over to plugins, add new, and let's just get WooCommerce installed. I'll do a quick search for WooCommerce here, and it's the first result. I'll click install now. And let's go ahead and activate the plugin. Great. Now WooCommerce will run you through their setup wizard. So your store details, industry, product types, business details, and theme. For this example, I'm just going to click the button down here to skip the setup store details. And I'm going to say no thanks for their analytics. Great. Now we just want to click on personalize my store. It's down here at the bottom. To get there, you can come under WooCommerce and home if you already have WooCommerce installed. Let's click on personalize my store. And the first step here is to import products. Let's go ahead and click on this. And there you go. It's going to run you through step two, three, and four. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you how easy it is with Seedprod. Now that you have some products that you can work with, let's actually just go ahead and click on the store so we can see our shop. This is what it looks like. And here are the products that it imported for us. You can see all of these here. So here's a beanie hat. And here's the page. Page. And with Seedprod, you can customize all of these pages. So if I come back, we'll go to Seedprod and Theme Builder. And at the top here, we have themes. I'm just going to click on this. And these are pre-made themes that we can import. So here there's a starter theme, but there's also a WooCommerce starter theme as well. Let's go ahead and just import this one. There's other shop themes in here as well that you can use. And there we go. It imported all of our theme template files. So now we can go onto each one and edit them. For example, we have the product page. Let's go ahead and click on edit design. And now we can see the seed prod page builder. This is the drag and drop page builder. So here we have, for example, our product featured image. So let's just say that wasn't there. I'll just go ahead and delete this. And we can come down to the blocks on the left hand side. We have the WooCommerce template tags. And here's that product featured image. Let's just go ahead and drag that in. And there you go. It popped up here. You can click on it to change the options for it. We have different template options for design. So if I want to add a little drop shadow, for example, or maybe a white border, but you can't see very good on the white background. And we have advanced options here as well. So shadows, image border, spacing, attributes, etc. And that's the case for everything that you see on the page. You can completely customize everything that you see, the layout, the color, the background images, the background colors, button colors, the text, everything that you see. For example, maybe we want the title on the left hand side here. Maybe we'll want the image a little bit smaller. Let's say 300 and we can center that. And maybe we want an image border on it. We want round edges here. We could even maybe center this title. And there you go. You have full control over how this looks. Let's go ahead and save this and we can close. Now keep in mind that these are theme template files that didn't just edit one product that edited all of the products across your whole website. So up here in the top right hand corner, we can now enable this. Click OK. And now if we come back to our store, we edited the product page. Let's just refresh this page. And here we can see that WooCommerce starter theme with the product page and then just the few changes that we made. So I hope this gives you an idea of how you can customize and fully customize WooCommerce websites. And I hope you found it helpful on how to import test products in WooCommerce with no CSV file needed. This is a much easier process. Now that you know how to import test products in WooCommerce, maybe you'd like to check out these videos on creating a Disney Plus website clone or a Spotify website clone. By the end of these videos, you will be well on your way to creating incredible websites. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.